all right so in this video we are going to implement the client side pusher js so that we can show the incoming messages instantly to have the pusher js functionality with view we are going to use this node package called pusher js okay you need to do an npm install of it i have already done that and that is present in my package.json as well um, yeah, no, so I need to add that so I'll quickly do that yeah so we have the package now okay and as we can see the package.json is updated accordingly now what we need to do is we will handle the entire code in our chat add widget itself okay um, so the first thing is let's import pusher the new library which we have pulled in okay <clears throat> now with that done we have to make some configuration level changes okay and that we have to do inside the created event of the component so I'll create that okay and in my data I'll need two things I'll need pusher which will be by default null and channel which will be also null by default so on create I'll say this dot pusher will be equal to new pusher okay now I'll have to pass my what do we call it there app key okay so we have to look for app key this is my app key now obviously I will change this or delete the app later after this tutorial so please don't use that and yeah uh, we need to pass two additional configuration items now if you see I have something here called US East 1 this is the cluster okay I have stuck to the default which means when I'm doing the configuration I'll say encrypted is true and my cluster is going to be empty one now this is something which I have googled and found out from the pusher documentation you should be able to do that as well it's pretty simple um, all right and then this dot channel okay is this pusher dot subscribe So we have named our channel as chat channel okay so this is done and then we need to bind to this channel so this dot channel dot bind okay what we are going to bind is when we have the chat saved event we have this callback function okay we'll pass data as the argument and in that we need the we need to emit an event now I am inside this binding so this won't work what we are going to do is let that equals this which means now I can say that dot emit okay incoming chat this is my event and I will pass the data now obviously when we have an emit here only I will have this on okay incoming chat on this function chat message and I'm going to call a method which we need to write now fair enough so we have everything in place we need to 
add a method here so this is a closing here now our new method is incoming chat and we need to pass the chat message right now the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to check if the current selected user is actually the sender okay which means if chat message dot message okay I know the objects so I'm writing it directly but sorry no so this dot first let's say chat store okay chat store dot current chat user dot ID if that is equal to the chat message sender no, sorry it's inside the message object I'll show you very soon sender underscore ID okay then we for now console log chat message okay and obviously I need a second installation so localhost 8080 should work Ooh, I'll log in through a different user okay this is here and this is here now chat all right so I need to show you the console right so I did a mistake so <coughs> full screen test chat Uh, haven't I is there anything missing in here incoming chat which is fine the subscription is done um, let me refresh this once and this as well yes must have been some cache problem so if you see where are we consoling we are in the you know method where we are handling the incoming <coughs> chat event which we have emitted and this we have chat message so let's see the object which we are getting it's a message object in in which this is the dollar final data which we are returning from the server okay so I I know how this will look so for now what we have written in the condition is that you know the sender ID should be equal to the selected user okay my selected user which means the sender is trying to uh, 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 sorry I am I should be receiving the chat messages for whom I have selected R rest I will be only fetching when I click on him so this is the first condition this is when when this is met what I will do is I will say if chat message okay dot message we know that it's a message object in that if my receiver dot email okay is equal to the user store now the problem is if you see my view X part okay let me quickly show you the view x we have user store and we have the <coughs> auth user and this I have email but I am not storing the user ID so for now we can match the email because we know it's a unique field not a big problem but yeah later on we will have to refactor our code so that we can uh, start saving the user ID as well it will be required but anyway so we need the user store which means right now here we only have the chat store but we will require the user store as well user store come back here okay, and 
this dot user store dot auth user dot email okay if the these two conditions are met then what we are going to do is console dot log okay let let's not do that um this is where you know the actual uh, thing needs to be added and else console dot log message for some other user by the selected user okay so we know that we don't need to handle that okay but the first case is something which we need to handle so we will have this dot dollar store we will write the implementation dollar store dot dispatch we are going to dispatch new incoming chat okay incoming chat fine and we are going to send the message itself okay where is our store so this is here commit um, message and then that the only thing which I need to do is basically actually call this commit part and I'll because what is happening is you know this is just pushing the chat to the conversation array right so that's what we need to do this is the mutation which we are calling from here and we're passing the message and you know I just want that once you know that is done I scroll to the end and that's why I'll just add this part as well it's a small thing I am beginning to sense a requirement where this should be a function in itself I'll do that as a part of refactor not now but yeah so we are going to scroll to the end okay um, that should be it let's see so first of all I reload here and select this user I come over here and reload and I select this user does it work okay this is all right and we are able to see which means the this is working I nice. um, from window one yes it works from window two it works either ways now um, let's see this is selected user foo and this is my name so let us log out and I'm logging into this and I'll select this user okay now if we see this message is not going to come here because the reason is I'm logged in as Amitav Roy okay and I am chatting with Foo whereas this is user bar and he is sending to Foo I can send to Amitav Roy as well and messages are not going to come because they don't match this is where we have you know checked the two conditions we could have done it in one line but I am you know for the readability part of it we are breaking it down so yeah we have the pusher implementation we can have two windows side by side and they are chatting nicely so yeah that's how we implement pusher with Vue.js to create our small little chat application I know there are a lot of things which we can do authentications and everything but initially I just wanted to create a very simple chat application which is this and yeah um, I'll come up with new video series soon thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to share the videos thanks